Yo, what up, bros? So, a lot of you guys in Discord and in Twitter and in stream have been asking for a low tier investment farming strategy. Something super simple, very easy, can just turn off your brain, invest next to nothing, and actually turn a profit. So, I've been doing a lot of research and I've been looking into it. And thanks to you guys talking about it in the Discord, plus some inspiration from Reddit, plus you guys hanging out in stream, I think I figured out something. Um, with the help, like I said, of you guys, that is really kind of cool and really kind of profitable. Now, a lot of people are not doing this, so all the material was super cheap. Um, and it was actually really easy to do. And that's breach farming tied in with some other things. So essentially, on my Atlas tree, to make this as easy as possible, I took all of the breach nodes. Area contains chance for a breach. Uh, hand of Eshula because it's essentially free splinters. All the little breach nodes for splinters plus the chance for breach came up here. I took Chayula breaches because that's where the money maker is. Chance to drop double breach splinters. Chance to contain a boss. This is this node is actually just out of this world insane. Up here we took chance for breach stones charged pure and enriched. Uh, I had this happen. I had this proc once. It was insane. I blew my mind when the whole breach node fell. And for this breach node, I don't take flash breach. Because it's too fast. My character's not a good mapper. You might have better success with this than I did, but I didn't take this. And essentially what we're doing is we're opening a map. We're blitzing the map boss. We're killing the map boss right away. We're running around the map. We're checking for the altars. We're doing the same altar strategy that you would do if you were doing Jungle Valley. And then we're just going around and popping all the breaches. On top of that, we're taking some really, uh, really fun nodes that I personally like, and I think are really good money makers. We're grabbing essence because it's late in the league. I like crafting. I've gotten really addicted to it. I need a lot of essences. Essences are free money. We're taking strong box because strong box essentially is free money, and we're pairing it with operative strong box, and we're pairing it with strong boxes are corrupted and rare, so we don't have to worry about rolling them. They're already rolled and taken care of. And if we ever hit an operative strong box and it doubles or triples or opens, it's just free money on free money on free money. Over here, we're taking additional essences. Up here, chance for duplicate essences. Over here, for additional essence chance. And then up here, for essences found or a tier higher. We're corrupting all of our essences like you would normally. And we're going from there. Lastly, we're taking harvest because harvest right now is actually insane. Uh, we cannot fit this giant harvest wheel, which is unfortunate. But we do get the nodes that are really important with the chance at tier four, the big harvest wheel here. And harvest is just a bonus. We open a map, we run in there, we check around, we do our breaches. If they're harvest, we run it. If there's not, we go next. We hit the essences along the way. We hit the strong boxes along the way. And if we get a trial of ascendancy, which is this, we take the 20 seconds to run it. And if we get an improved one, we get an offering of the goddess or gift of the goddess. And that's a free divine. And it's it's quick, it's easy, it's simple. Lastly, because of the build uh, that I'm playing, I prefer running on the red side. Some of you guys might like the blue side, but for the ultra strategy, I'm taking chance for the Icarus to be doubled. I'm taking more altar spawns, and I'm going down here, and I'm taking effects from altars because my character can handle it. I did have Wrath of the Cosmos for a little bit. It was pretty good. Um, I can do it on this character, but I didn't want to put it in this video and talk about it. Um, and I did the test without it because I know a majority of you guys might not be able to do it, might not like it, and I didn't want to give you results that are skewed by this node. But if you can run the maps with this and you can do this node, I highly recommend it. It's just free money on top of free money on top of free money. Lastly, we're taking all the map modifier nodes because they're just awesome and free. We're taking the entire quant wheel in the middle because it's free. We are blocking abyss because i don't want to do abyss because it takes up room we're blocking expedition because for me i'm just not feeling like expedition right now legion if we were going to do legion we would swap this around do jungle valley uh we're blocking blight i know don't say it just, just it's okay it's okay it's okay and hear me out we're blocking Blight because it's a low tier mapping strategy with low to minimal investment and Blights inside of a map for some builds are pretty difficult. So I wanted to make this as though I can open a map and clear a breach and have a good time and not get blown up because Cassie is upset at me. She can be mad, I know, it's fine. 
and then I'm blocking ritual. Why? Because I never remember to loot my rituals. I also don't want to do ritual. I have no interest in doing ritual. I'm leaving open delirium because if I get delirium on the map, I like it. I'm leaving over metamorph because metamorph is just free money. If we ever hit the metamorph and we kill it and we get any catalyst at all, it's just free money. I'm leaving open um, rogue markers for contracts and blueprints. Some contracts and blueprints are still worth a ton, even this late in the league as people are still heisting. And all these little things are just extra free money on top of the main strategy, which is which is breaches. I know what a lot of you guys are saying is get to the meat and potatoes. Stop breaking my horns. Doesn't make money. What did you spend? How did you do it? And I have, I do I have that information for you. I have my trusty handy dandy spreadsheet, handy dandy spreadsheet. So I spent a grand total of one divine for 16 maps. 1.095 divines. I bought a 16 use contains additional breaches. I bought a four use breaches in the area that belonged to, belong to Chayula with three additional class pans. I bought area contains mysterious barrels and I bought area contains additional magic pack size because when you open the breach, they're magic monsters and that increases the size of the breach and the mobs inside the breach. We use gilded breach scarabs and then um, I throw in like these for extra quant because it really doesn't matter. So my total cost was 1.95 divines. My profit doing this super simple strategy was, uh, how many maps do I have left? I think I have four maps left. I have four maps left. So I've run 12 of the 16. And I stopped midway to talk about this because it was insane. Out of the 12 maps, I have made six Chayola Breach Stones and two pure Breach Stones. I'll let that one sink in for a minute. These are 84 C a piece. These are 150 C a piece. I made these because I have master missions and I ran June and I was trying to learn. I was trying to learn syndicate so I could talk to you guys in a later video about syndicate and I managed to put it that fled in research. I got him tiered up. I hit a mastermind. I ran the mastermind because it was fun and I just, you know, just kind of like messing around with syndicate and Hit that flood, upgraded two of these into two of these, and it's free. So if you have a bunch of June missions like I do, put some June missions on. What else can you expect in maps? Average maps look like this. And I know this doesn't look very good. And I know this doesn't look very good. And I know this doesn't look... This came out of a mysterious barrel cluster, by the way. A lot of the small currency that you're seeing in these screenshots are coming out of the mysterious barrels. The breach rings, we're picking up the breach rings so that we can vendor them 60 at a time to get a grasping mail. If you don't know what a grasping mail is, there is a breach armor that has increased global defenses, damage per dex, I think it is, and some other modifiers that are actually worth a lot of money. So you pick up the rings, you get 60 of them, and you vendor them. In the 12 maps that I've run so far, I've picked up 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 rings. I got a skin of the, uh, what is this one called? Skin of the Loyal, because Chayula dropped it. Uh, I found Skin of the Lord's cards. Skin of the Lord's can't. Skin of the Lord's cards, and overall, it's been pretty good and pretty profitable. And now, I'll go back and I'll finish running the maps. Um, I have four more maps to do. I'm sure I'll make another two Breach Stones. I've been averaging between 50 and 70. This is the, this is, so I took three screenshots. This is low tier, this is average, and this is above average. So you can see the above average, I hit 80. Oh, I hit 49 in the mid middle of the pack. I get about 60. So it's every two maps you get a full breach stone unless you get really lucky and Chayula drops one, which does happen. And uh, yeah, that's what you do. You just go into a map, you run around, kill the boss. It takes two seconds. Oh, the map. Important. Uh, not Ancient City. Not Grave Through. Not Ramparts. Arid Lake. Arid Lake's actually kind of nuts. It's actually really easy to run. It's a big circle, so you start on one side of the map, you run straight across, go to the boss, kill the Roa, it takes two seconds, leave the Roa boss room, and then run around the map and hit the altars. I did this on purpose to show you that you can Horizon Orb, if you have a ton of these, right into Arid Lake. And you can see at the time of recording, I have the Chayula Breach Stone, the Magic Size Breach Stone, the Extra Breach Stones, or the Extra Breaches, and the cluster barrels. Also, at time of recording, hit refresh here. 
16 uses are 40, 45. If I go here, we do this because it's cheaper to do four uses. Four uses, 16, 18, 20, 20, 20. Mysterious barrel, 20, 25, sometimes 50. But these guys have been answering and been going up all day. You can even buy four uses. Four uses are 3C, 4C, 2C. You can go even cheaper if you want. And then magic pack size, 25C, 30C. This is 30% increased magic pack size. And if I go four uses, it goes from 30% to 25%. So you lose 5% pack size. 15 C so that's really kind of like up to you if you want to spend that kind of money or the extra little bit of investment but you could probably run these maps for like pennies on the dollar and you go in you get free breach stones you sell the breach stones and just to give you an idea too um fragments scarabs breaches this not bad I don't know if that's right. Yeah, see that. So they're like 140. They're like 140. So it's pretty good, man. It's super simple. It's easy. It's quick. I'll be doing a little bit of on stream now. I will have a link to this down below in the description. I have um, a link in the spreadsheet, which I'll grab and I'll take all these. I'll put the search functions down in the spreadsheet down below so you can find all the sections really easy. And then if you have any questions, feel free to head on over to the Discord. Shoot me a message on, you know, shoot me a message there. Come by the Twitch stream. I'll be live. Or Twitter, if Twitter's your thing. Leave a comment down below. Do all the things. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all the wonderful things. So the algorithm likes me. And if you hated it and you're doing something better, or if I could be doing something better, let me know too, because I'd love to hear about it. But for now, I'm going to go continue doing what I'm doing. And um, yeah, I'm going to go farm some more Breach Zones. Mostly because I want to run more fears and I need the breach zones and they're pain in the butt, pain in the butt to buy. So for now, have a wonderful evening. Good morning. Good afternoon. And I will see you guys later.